Reaction from Vice President Kamala Harris condemning the attack bid on Donald Trump. Kamala, in fact, Kamala has spoken about the fact that she's thankful that Trump is safe, must do a bid to stop violence. Violence is no place in America is what she has said. Going straight across to Geeta Mohan, a foreign affairs editor, getting in more details on that big story. A first response really from Kamala Harris, a contender and a challenger to Donald Trump, saying that there is no place for violence in a democracy, even those big questions remain unanswered and how was this lapse even allowed? Geeta. Well, that's right. It is a very, very serious uh, lapse, a very serious incident, uh, so to say. And uh, their reactions that have come in from the president as also the vice president, uh, both looking into the uh, incident and have been informed that uh, the FBI is looking at uh, the details of the incident. The man involved has been apprehended or identified. Uh, but Kamala Harris reiterates what she did when uh, the first assassination attempt took place um, uh, uh, against uh, Donald Trump. She said violence has no place in America. She also reiterates, uh, she also uh, adds saying that President Trump is safe following gunshots in his vicinity. No further details at this time. Uh, uh, of course, uh, we are waiting for details to come out. Uh, the the man uh, in question, Ryan Wesley Root, uh, has been is is um, the man behind this entire attack. He has been taken into custody. He had uh, he had in his possession an AK-47 style weapon. So uh, this could have gone any way. And we've said this in the past also for the last assassination attempt, which was a very very close call. Over here, uh, the the gunshots were fired outside his. Uh, uh, compound and he was leaving at the time when this happened so we do not know the extent or the seriousness but yes the fact that uh, the gunshots were fired right outside his compound and he was in the vicinity in itself is a very very serious threat a second attempt uh, and, and the uh, u.s agencies the federal agencies will have to uh, respond to what are they doing in terms of security for donald trump all right, I'm going to thank you, Gita Mohan, getting us up to speed with those details this morning. The former U.S. president, uh, he was, in fact, there was an AK-47 attacked, uh, or rather, the AK-47 was pointed at him. The gunman has been identified as 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Rouse, who's now been arrested, has a criminal history. Spanning several decades is what has been indicated by the FBI looking into this matter. Remember this attack or rather the attempt was in Florida. He is an avid supporter of Ukraine. So that's where his ideology essentially lies. FBI has arrested this gunman and has expressed a desire to fight for Ukraine. The person who has now been arrested by the FBI. Travel to Ukraine after Russia's invasion. This is what's, what the investigators in this case now have revealed. Shared violent posts after Russia's Ukraine invention. So disturbing history as far as social media is also concerned. Lives in Hawaii, a native of South Carolina. Was arrested earlier for possession of drugs is what is now being said. Essentially a history sheeter here. Drove in US without a license, expired in spectrum. No insurance as far as his own vehicle is concerned. Launched a construction company in Hawaii for the homeless.